Hello, Nival. Hello, Daniel. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? My day. Why oh, see I, I feel tired and stressed? <laughs> ah, I don't think so, Daniel. So try to take hey, take it easy. Just a take little, it easy, guys. Take it easy, right? <laughs> take it easy, you know. <laughs> it's time to enjoy. Time to enjoy. T time to take it easy, okay? Okay. <laughs> now think about something you will teach or you will you will share with the group. Meanwhile, we, we wait for the rest, okay? Okay. Ok, esperemos un ratito por los demás. Preparen algo que nos van a mostrar que, que, no, que han estado practicando en el día, ok? Para iniciar con la sesión. Esperemos unos dos minutitos, ok? Ok. Ok. Um... Good evening, Aidan. Okay, I understand, Aníbal. I know you will be as a listener today. And Nida also will be as a listener. Okay. Good evening, Jonathan. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, class. Good evening. Hope you are having a great time. <laughs> what? I hope you, that you are having a great time. Okay, me too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, uh, do we be able to prepare uh, some expression to present in the, in the class? Okay, remember, we are going to start with it. Try to get some new expressions, okay, so that you can provide, uh, I mean, you can share with the group and you can provide some examples, okay? Okay. Some new expressions, like the one that, that you presented in previous days. Mm. Today is very difficult, right? Especially because of the traffic, maybe. Um, yes. Yeah, that's very, that's that's why you got stressed, stressed out, Daniel. Uh, today has the the last day for tax. Oops. Okay, so it was very very stressful, right? I uh, yeah. Okay, so, but let us wait a little bit, okay, like a couple of minutes just to see some of the, some of the, uh, oh, our classmates and, and that we can start tonight. Okay. Uh, I have uh, something to tell you about, about finishing uh, this course, you know, on Monday, we, we're going to have our last um, curse, our last lesson, sorry. And well, you know, you, 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 have, you have to prepare something for Monday, okay? Okay. You have okay. To, to prepare something special for Monday. Okay, I can see some more people. Well, I will start. Uh, I will check list attendance, okay? That's the first thing I'll do. <laughs> Then we're going to have some review about what we started yesterday. Hey, today is Friday the 14th, July the 14th, right? It is Friday. And you know it, right? <laughs> it's Friday and you know it. Okay, I know Aidan is over there as a listener. Uh, I, don't, I didn't see Belen, Claudia, Daniel. 
Hello, teacher. Ok, Maribel. Let's see. Some people are chatting over right here. Uh, Edgar? Why is it? Good. good, good, good to, to know that you're here. Gladys? Jonathan, so there I know. Present, yes. All right, Maria Elba. Cristobal. Berenice, Berenice, I don't know. She says she's going to be. Yeah, Berenice is over here. Don't worry, Berenice. I, I know. Now I can see Gladys also. Gladys and Berenice are present. Okay, Maria Elba, Cristobal, Michael, Aníbal, Norma, Oscar Antonio, Ronan, let's see, Ronan, okay, Edgar is over here. Vera Liz is a, a listening to now. Okay, Vera Liz. Okay, I understand. Vera Liz is present. Teresa. Ronan, I didn't see Ronan. Ronan, are you here? Yeah, Ronan is over here. All right. So, well, first time I check list attendance. Well, at the end, I will let you know about something related to, to the course, right? Remember that we are um, finishing this level of English this coming uh, Monday. Okay, Maria Elba, you got it? Maria Elba, good. So uh, I, I was just telling you that on Monday we're finishing the course, right? So you know that on Monday you have a special participation. Uh, tonight we're not gonna have like the, like the, 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 the questionnaire you usually do at the end of the course. So I, I, I hope that on Monday, well, on Monday you're gonna, you will be given the, the information, right? So that we, you can evaluate uh, me, and uh, I think there's another another activity there, right? So, but you need to to be aware of it. Okay, Ronan, I got it. I got the message. Now I know that you are facing problems with internet. Well, let's try to start. Okay, hope everybody is 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 okay. And for the people who told me yesterday that. Uh, where I hope you were not okay yesterday. I hope that now the story is different. I hope that you that you are okay, that you got better. Okay, so well, we're going to start because you know what really matters. So here is that you're okay. First off, that you're okay. Second, that you learn. Okay. And, you know, yesterday we were talking about, well, and during this week we have been talking about ways to report a problem, uh, how to use one like, to, uh, we, we also started about different usage of it, and also about providing a polite request with a uh, cool. And now, we are gonna go over the information on how to use Kim for informal request, okay? But before going to that, you know, we have an activity to complete over here. This exercise says, choose the correct question. 
what is what is the most suitable? Can you lend? Can you can can you to lend me a pen? Could you lend me a pen or could you lend me a pen? First, second, or third? First, could you lend me a pen? The first one, can you to lend uh, me a third, pen? Third, third, third. Uh, the third one, could, could you lend you... me a pen? Are you sure? No, no, no. I <laughs> The second, could you lend me a pen? So what is the problem with the third one, uh, Daniel? What is the problem with this one? Why not this one? El verbo. El... Okay, so the verb is a problem, right? Yeah. It's in the past, right? So what about this one? Why, why is, is it not this sentence? El... Ahí es la forma del verbo. Which word? This one? To lend. lend. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Estamos. So the problem is to. to. Uh. The particle to. We don't need it, right? So we don't need it. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so you say that's the second one, right? Second. Okay, so we're, we're going to go over it like this. Now, number two. Correct. Could you write these reports, please? Could you these reports, please? Or could you write in these reports, please? What is the best option? The first option, could you write this report, please? Could you write this report, please? Good. Now, yeah. why not the second one? And why not the third one? The second one, say the bear. Okay, in the second one, we don't have any verb, and the verb should be over there, but you, could you write this report, please? Okay, and in, in the third one? Why not the number three? La forma del verbo, el writing. Uh, the ing form is not necessary over here, right? So we don't need ing form. So, could you write this report, please? Good people. Veo que vienen con con filo, como decía mi abuelita. Okay, number three. Are you help me? Could you help me, or could you help me? Best option. Second. Could you help me? Second. Is it, is it the second one? Okay, yeah. why not the first one? Why not the third one? In the first, um, having a cool. In the first one, yeah. well, since we are requesting, so we need to use. Yeah, see the, the model yeah. very good, right? Oh, could you help me? But not the verb to be, not the verb to be uh -huh. here. Uh -uh. Oh. Okay. No, no, yeah. not the verb to be to request. Okay. Mm -hmm. In the number three, could you help me? Bear helps. Ah, okay. The yeah. bear is the problem because it, it is like um it, it, it is used as if we were uh, using third person singular with simple present things. We are not working with that. Okay. Good. That was number three. What about number four? Could you could I borrow your notebook? Could you borrow your notebook or could you could I borrow in your notebook? <laughs> The first one. Could yes. I borrow your notebook? Could I borrow your notebook? Why not the second one? Why not the third one? What's the problem with the number two and the number three? It's in English, but I... Sorry? Could you borrow your notebook? So what, what's the problem with this one? 
how to to twice you. Ah, the problem is the subject pronoun, right? Yeah. So as you can see, you need to use you need to be clear about what you are saying, okay. right? Because you need I there. Hey, could I borrow your notebook? Okay, so the problem was the subject pronoun. Okay, and in the third one. Hola. ING. Yeah. ING. Yeah. We yeah. don't need it, right? Could I borrow your notebook? Good. Quite good. Simple but necessary. Number five, this is the last one. Could you tell me the time, please? Could you tell me the time, please? Or could you tell me the time, please? First, second, or third? Third. Third Sir, one? Could you tell Sir. me the time, please? Sir. Okay, so let us finish with the exercise. Why not the first one? The bear ENG. ENG. Ah, oh, we don't need an ENG, ENG form. In the second one? She is the three person. Ah, we don't need a, a verb conjugated no. in, in, in third person singular, right? So whenever we have could, uh, the verb needs to remain in the base form. Pretty mm -hmm. good. Pretty good. I will send it and we are going to check if if we have it in the, in the right way. Okay, here we go. All right, very good. Can somebody read it, please? Could you lend me a pen? Could you lend me a pen? Can, can somebody read the second one? Could you write this report, please? Could you write these reports, please? Can somebody else read the number three? Please. Can you help me? Can you help me? Number four. Could I borrow your notebook? Could I borrow your notebook? Number five. Could you tell me the time, please? Hey, could you tell me the time, please? Excellent. So the, that's what we were studying yesterday. So let us say goodbye for a moment to this topic because, you know, we're going to go over. Uh, let me see. This is our topic for tonight, right? So how to use can for informal requests, okay? <coughs> Sorry. So. Well, first off, just before getting into that uh, exercise, I mean, that topic, we're gonna go over. Let me see, where is the link? Yeah, this is the link. Okay, so I, I, I want to check the conversation, okay? This conversation. I know that you were working with it. Okay, I know you were working with it. Okay, so I will ask some, some of you to read what you got. I will stop sharing. Okay, now I hope that I hope you 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 uh, worked in that conversation. Okay, let me see. Let's start with volunteers. Who wants to who wants to read the conversation about? Uh, about the two people. I think they, they, they are two ladies, right? What is the conversation all about? About this problem, about problem with the uh, headset. The, the lady has a problem with a headset. Uh -huh. Headset. And what else? Uh, she doesn't how to use. She doesn't know. No, no. Uh, she how doesn't to use, know to use. How to use the headsets. Okay, what else? What else? What else? She don't, don't know how to use the headset. She doesn't know. I think they, they are two ladies, right? Yes. Yeah, so she doesn't know how to use the headsets. Good. Now, I, uh, did you get the conversation? Did you get the conversations? 
Did you get the conversation? Yes or no? Raise your hand if you got the conversation, yeah. please. Okay, Michael got it. Who else got the conversation? ¿Quién más escribió uh, la conversación? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so Daniel, <laughs> Michael, <laughs> what about the rest? What about the rest? What about the rest? Uh, yo no la terminé, bueno. Oh, okay, uh, so try to, try to finish it. Try to okay. finish it. Okay, so Daniel and Michael, then we're going to listen to you. Okay, so you can start, uh, Michael. You can start, Michael. Okay. Uh, good evening. Thank you for calling electro electronics or... All right, this is Rachel. How may I assist you? Hi, Rachel. I like to know how to use this Bluetooth headset. I recently purchased from your store. Sure, ma'am. I can all help you out with that, but before anything else, May I have your name so that can I address you properly? Yes, this is Meredith Blade. Okay, thanks for that, Mr. Plank. Um, what exactly do you want to with your headset? Uh, I want to know how to use it. Okay, ma'am. I may get their handset model's name and numbers as well as that of your phone. I bought a Plantronic Mark a 2M165 and use an iPhone 4S. Okay, ma'am. So how do you try freely bearing it, it with your headset um, with your phone? Oh yes, I I have. Okay, first I need to I need you to unpair um your device with with your phone. I carry it. Um, yes, yes, ma'am. Okay, don't. And now, please switch off your phone. Then turn it on again after around five seconds. Switch off and on. Yes, please. Don't. No, what? Okay, please pair it with your phone. Okay, Paris. No, what? Um, ma'am, did you handset working now? That's just it. I want to know how it works. I already told you that I pirate that it buys with my phone, but I'm not sure if you get what I mean. Well, yes, ma'am, I understand. Where you're coming from, that's, that's why I'm trying to help you, okay? Bueno, la última parte sí, ya no la pude cambiar, la dejé igual. Okay, Dani, continue, continue the okay. same way. Well, well, I already done that. I only asked a simple question. Why can't you sing yet that? Uh, yes, ma'am, I understand. Where you coming from? That's why I'm to trying to help you. No, what, no, what? I don't think you do, you do. We've been at this for over 30 minutes going around in circles. I like to speak your supervisor obvious won't get any help from you. Yeah, 
Okay. <laughs> wow, the end is kind of difficult, right? Because uh, <laughs> that is difficult. So, so. Yeah. Hey, so, so. Uh, uh, tell me, did you encounter an expression with can in the conversation, guys? Because I, I got one that say, hey, may I have your name, please? That's a different way to request for information, right? Hey, may I have your phone number, please? May I have your name, please? May I have your full name, please? May I have your address, please? So you see, there is a, another way to request for information. Yesterday, we were talking about could, could, could you, right? Now, may I? But I think there is another one that's kin. Do you have an expression there in the conversation that with Ken? If somebody got expression, type it in the chat, please. Because we there's I'm trying to introduce the topic, okay? Can you seem to get that? Okay, can you type it and uh, uh, Michael, can you type it in the chat? Um. Now everybody knows about the expression, right? So we have, uh, may I, could I, could you? Uh, well, there are different. Now today we're gonna see, we're gonna have some review about the ones we have studied in previous day. We're gonna see uh, about the model kin and there are uh, like a couple of expressions more. Okay, let's wait for Michael. Michael is typing that sentence in the chat. Please, please, in the chat, uh, Michael. Ah, okay. So, you know, the, the, the verb type, eh, cuando escuchen okay. el verbo type, eso es digital. Okay. okay. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> eso es lo que algunas yeah. veces confunde. Okay, can you seem to get that? Can you seem to get that? So that's the expression you got there, right? So, but in this case, Yes, because I, I heard it, right? In this case, so can, it, it is for ability, right? It is not for requesting. Can you seem to get that, okay? So, but we are going to see, thank you, uh, Michael. We are going to okay. see some info in here related to, to that, okay? Now, well, I have some extra info about would I want to, would prefer to, would write, but well, if we have time, we can see it later. Uh, we we'll start by presenting this, okay. Take a look at this. This, this is what we have been studying lately, right? So requests, okay. It happens that we have polite requests and requests that are not that polite. We already studied about would, could, can is the topic for tonight, and may is one expression that uh, I included in the chat, and we also have might. But there is another one, you will see it, but little by little, okay, what I want you to do is to get familiarized with this. Recuerden, el centro de, de, nuestras, de nuestra clase es esto. Ahora, ¿qué es esto? Repaso. ¿Qué es esto? Repaso. ¿Qué es esto? Bueno, es como una presentación que también hay otras cosas que debemos de estudiar. Y aquí todavía falta uno, ¿ok? Now, what's going on with this? Well, let's cover it. It happens that you can... 
uh, use this expression when you want to get something, okay? Like, hey, can I can I borrow your book? Now, that's, it doesn't seem to be that polite, right? So what is a request, people? A request is when you ask for something, okay? That's a request. We have informal requests, and also we have formal requests, right? Informal. Ah, but yesterday, yesterday we started what? What did we study the yesterday and the day before yesterday, people? What did we study yesterday and the day before yesterday? Well, we can. Would and could. Okay, what are we studying today? Well, we are having a review about this one, and we are going to start with this, with but this is, this is uh, we're going to see it, but we're not going to go deeply with it. But this is our topic for tonight, right? So you need to be clear about it. Okay, so so we have informal and we have formal. So could I, that's very formal, right? Could I, could I borrow your book? Okay, and we have, can I borrow your book? Over here? Can, we can include like the word please, right? Hey, could I borrow your book, please? Okay, informal, can I borrow your book? So we are often informal with family and friends. Yes or no? Most of the time. I'm not saying that's, that's uh, like the rule, right? Because sometimes we are very formal with our parents and family members, right? So, but generally, we use these expressions like can, quit, in an informal um, environment or situation, right? With family and friends, but we use could to, uh, to get into a formal context, okay? We usually, listen to what it says over here, we usually, uh, we are usually formal with everyone else, like teachers, doctors, and people we, we we do not know well, okay? Extra info. Now, over here, Jack is, is requesting something. What is Jack requesting, people? What is Jack requesting? A, may I go to the restroom? B, can I have another cookie? C, could I borrow some money? What do you think, what do you think this uh, kid is requesting. Jack is his name. May I go to the restroom? Why do you think he is he is requesting going to the restroom? Why? <laughs> why? I mean, why do you think that's that's the best option? Go. Why? I uh -huh, go. But why? Why? Listen, that's my question, right? You say, hey, he's asking or he is requesting the teacher to go to the restroom. Okay, it's okay. So, but why do you think? Why? Why do you think he's requesting that? Why that answer? He wants to go at the restroom because he wants to go to the restrooms. Maybe but he doesn't seem to be uh, hungry, right? I don't think he is, uh, he is requesting for another cookie. Actually, uh, he doesn't seem to be like eating cookies. And why the, the kid, why, why the kid uh, will be like borrowing some money that, that doesn't make sense, right? Since he is in a class. So the best option is, may I go to the restroom? Okay, so this is just for you to think a little bit, okay? Now we have polite request with polite. Well, this is informal, you know, informal. And then you say, hey, can I go to the park? Can I go to the park informal? Okay, this is informal. Formal, 
could I could I leave early today? Formal. Formal. May. May I? May I take this newspaper? Formal also, right? Requesting, requesting, requesting. And this is very formal, okay? Very formal. Hey, might I borrow some money? Might I? My is very formal. We don't use might often. We don't use it often. The one that we use very often is can, and depending on the situation, we use could or may, right? But this one is, you need to be clear that can is informal, right? Any questions so far? The best formal is might. No, no, it's not, it is not the best option, okay? Because it says that's very formal. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's in a very formal mm -hmm. way. Formal could, formal may. Informal, you know, can. But very formal, it says that we don't use it frequently. Okay, so it needs to be in a very formal situation. Okay. Okay, but this one, well, you can say to the, to your teacher, to the doctor, to to your parents. I mean, someone you 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 don't know. I mean, you don't know uh, quite well. Okay. Now, let us try to see what's the difference. Now, let us make some requests. For example, over here we have I today go home may early. The request is, hey, may I go home early today? May I? May I? May I? Now, what would be the second question? Or the second sentence, people? Could I borrow your pencil? Could I? It's number two, right? Could I borrow your pencil? Three. It's a verb. This is the complement, right? Good, Daniel. Hey, could I borrow your pencil? Good. But we are actually we're missing the question mark, right? So the question mark will be number five. Hey, could I borrow your pencil? Okay, what about number three? With my friends to the cinema go I can. Can I go with my friend to the cinema? Good. Capital letter. Number one. Number two. Number three. Can I go? Number four. Can I go? With, with my friend. To the cinema. Yeah, can I go to the, the cinema? cinema? Yeah, it seems to be better, right? Yeah. So number four. Can I go to the cinema with my friends? This is number five. Good. And the number four. I may pay in cash the bill. May I pay the bill in cash? Good. Capital letters since the beginning, right? Number one. Number two. Number three. May I pay what? The bill. Number four. And number five. Number five. Barrow, uh, you got tomorrow, can. Can I borrow your car? Excellent. Tomorrow. Hey, can I borrow this number one? Can, can I borrow number two? Number three, can I borrow your card? Number four, and number five. Good. Now, do me the favor to write down the, the sentences in the correct order. Escribanlas, por favor, o digitanlas. Okay, let us, let us spend three minutes. Tres minutos para que lo haga. Cuatro minutos.
Ahí están dos Ah, sí, no me quedé aquí para Okay, can I continue? Let me know when to continue, please. So can I continue? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. I will continue then. So then we have, for example, request for permission, right? Say, can I, could I, or may I? So this is for permission, right? So maybe his mom is a little angry, right? So I mean, she's, she seems not to permit the, the boy do what he wants. Can I please go to the concert tomorrow night with my friends? Yes, you can. Oh, no, you can't, right? So that's a, that's a, a possible answer, right? According to what uh, what she, the way she seems to be, right? So this is, this is for permission, right? Can I please? Could I please? May I 
please. So you may get like two answers, yes or no, right? Now, we also have can, could, or may for requests. So this is this is what we are actually studying, right? You are at a restaurant, and what will be like the vocabulary we can use over here? Let's imagine. You need a menu. You need a menu. How would you request the waiter to bring the menu? Can I have a menu, please? Or could I have a menu? Okay, now you have the way to request. Can I have a menu? Could I have a menu? What about <clears throat> if you are not happy with the service? If you're not happy with the service, what what would you say? ¿Qué dirían si no estuvieran conformes con el con 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 el servicio brindado? Y aquí ocupamos menu, manager, there's a list. ¿Qué dirían? ¿Se recuerdan de la conversación de, de las dos señoras en YouTube? Could you, could you speak with your supervisor? Could uh -huh. I speak? Oh, here's not the supervisor, but it's the manager, right? Hey, could I talk to your manager? Or could I talk to the manager? Good. Excellent. So what would you say if you would like to order something else? Can I have a uh, dessert list, please? Okay, could I have the dessert list, please? May I have the dessert list, list please? Or can I have the dessert list, please? Good. All right. So let's imagine we continue in the in the in the restaurant, right? So we have the same expression such as can, could, or made for request. We are in a restaurant and like you are thirsty, what would you say? You're thirsty. What would you say? Uh, sabroso. No, I mean, uh, mm. if you are thirsty, what would be a request? What would be a possible request if you are thirsty? Similar to what you did over here, right? Can I have a menu, please? Could I have the menu, please? Uh, could I talk to your manager or to the manager? Uh, could I get the dessert list? Okay, but what would you say in the in this one? You are thirsty. Can I can I a drink, please? Can I have something to drink, please? Could I get something to drink, please? Okay, or may I have something to drink, please? Excellent. What about if you finish your food and you want to pay? <clears throat> you ready to finish? You uh -huh. have a uh, can I have the bill, please? Can I have the check? Please, excellent. What about number, uh, this one? Number 11, right? You loved the meal and you want to come again next week. Would you like a uh, reservation? Could you like or would you like? Not actually, you need to use this the, the three may. can can could or may may yeah may i can i can i make a reservation can i, make a reservation? I, I think that's that's the most, the, the most suitable right or could i make yeah. the reservation for next week good 
Should I make? Teacher. Can I make? Or may I, may I make? Tell me. Y se, o sea, se podría ocupar también las dos, esas dos palabras, may and make, porque es como... May I make? Yeah, there's no any problem, because may uh -huh. is the moral, and make okay, is so another verb, uh, right? Yeah, uh, okay. Uh, I, may I make? Can I make? Or could I make a reservation, please? Okay, okay. so the three of them. Yeah, thank you. Now, what about this? Can, could, or may for request? It says, use these three verbs in the situations below. A photo of you. Take, invite, or leave. What will be the request? Can I take a photo of you? Can I take a photo of you? Could I take a photo of you? May I take a photo of you? What about the next one? Early today. I feel unwell. Podría ser, may I live early today? I feel well. Hey, may, may I live early today? I don't feel okay, okay? Could, can I live early today? Could I live early today? The three of them. Okay, and the last one, my friend to your party. Call my friend you, to your party. Sorry, Ken? You know, you already you, you already you already use take, right? You already use live. What is the one that's missing? Invite. Mm -hmm. So can I invite my friend to your party? Could I invite? May may I invite? Okay, and the rest. Well, we have some others over here. I will try to go over it faster. Okay, now we have two verbs more. To the cinema with Sally and Johan. This, 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 you, can, you can use either, right? Can, could, or may. May go to the cinema with Sally and John. Okay, may I go to the cinema? Good, and the, and the last one? Could I borrow seventy dollars? Okay. I will return it next week. Okay, but if you promise, I can borrow it. I really need this. Yeah, <laughs> you know, seventy bucks is not you know. Now here, what is a Caitlin requesting? What do you think she she is requesting? Would you open the door? Will you help me with the bags or could you pass the paper, the pap the paper and salt? What do you think she's requesting? B. Uh, what what does B uh, is all about? No. Would you help me with my bags? Help me with my bags. Now, what do you notice with this one? Will you open the door? Will, will you help me with my bags? ¿Es, ¿Es del grupo que hemos estado estudiando? No. No, oh. ok. Entonces se nos filtró. Pero como ustedes ya saben, a mí me encanta eso, que ustedes pues se lleven algo extra, ¿no? Que no solo nos quedemos con good, good. No, está bien, hay que, hay que abordarlo, pero siempre investigando, indagando, ¿qué más le podemos sacar a, a la cuestión? Okay, so once again, modal, informal, can you pass the butter, please, if you want, right? Formal, could, formal, will, very formal, will. But in this case, as you notice, this expression is more common in British, not in the United States, right? But in British, more common, I mean, 
If you want to use it, use it. But you need to be uh, clear that this this expression is more uh, useful in 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 England <laughs> with British people. Okay. So let's see what's coming. Now, what what is the way you you will complete this part, people? The example is over here. Hey, can I give you my homework tomorrow? No, you need to give it to me now. Hey, some people are already participating. Very good. Will you open the door for me? Of course. And do you want some help with your back? Excellent. Now, very good. Now, you know, I know you can interact with the screen, so do it now. Yo sé que pueden interactuar con la pantalla. Háganlo ahorita, ¿ok? Cuando se ha terminado, lo, lo, lo chequeamos. Ok, very good. Could I borrow your car tomorrow? Sorry, but it's at, at the mechanics. <laughs> ok. And the last one. Hey, will you come to the cinema with me? Sure. Which film do you want to see? Excellent. I, we did it, right? I love when you do when you do the the exercises in the right way. Very good. No questions? No, 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 no question. question. Okay, very good. I will delete this. Let's move on with the next one because you will continue working. Okay, go over this one, please. Mm Hey, this expression will be useful, right? For you. No la van a usar muy seguido porque le van a dar un, un, un día libre de un año. Le va a ser un día libre un año libre. Le van a... Okay. Okay, can you please complete it? Okay, very good. May I have a day off tomorrow? Well, I'm not sure. Do you finish all your work? Uh, will you help me up uh, uh, the stairs? Of course, but, you, but you can also take the elevator. Can you pass the butter? Sure. And can you pass me a slice of bread? Slice of bread. Excellent. Wow, people. Great job. Great job. No questions? No, no question. Well, piece of cake, right? Creo que ese tema sí que lo han este abordado de allí. Al cien. Now, there are some more polite requests. With, would you mind? Hey, pertenece a lo que me está estudiando? Actually, can you see it, people? Can you see? Oops. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That was my fault. Uh huh. Yeah, actually, we have the, 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 the model world, right? But the expression, the new expression, hey, would you mind? Would you mind if I close the window? Te importaría si, cerro, si cierro la ventana? Hey, would you mind closing the window? Te importaría cerrar la ventana? You are asking for permission and you are asking someone to do something for you. So that's different, right? Hey, would you mind if I close the window? Would you mind closing the window? Can you see the difference? Can you see the difference with, between these two expressions? Would you mind if? I close the window. Would you mind closing the window? Closing. Both are okay, but they 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 mean something different, right? One is for you to ask for permission, and the other one is asking someone to do something for you. Okay. So we're almost done. Okay, so what is expression? Would you mind? Would you mind if Asking for permission. Would you mind if I ate the last piece of cake? Would you mind if I used your phone? 
Would you mind if I borrow your bicycle? Would you mind if I didn't come tonight? We use the past simple, but the meaning is for the present or the future. So this is something that you need to keep in mind, right? The past, past, okay, past, past. Okay. No voy a entrar mucho en eso. Ustedes saben que es nada más como a, a manera de presentar. En su momento lo van a ver a detalle. Why don't we work in this one? Let's work in this one, please. Would you mind if I open the window? No, go ahead. It's hot in here. Would you mind if I took the day off tomorrow? <laughs> Would you mind if I didn't come to the cinema? Would you mind if I borrow Albert's car? So let us work in this one, please. <clears throat> okay, Jonathan said, hey, would you mind if I borrow Albert's car? No, don't ask me. You need to ask Albert. <laughs> Very good. What about the, the other the other ones? Berenice, hey, would you mind if I didn't come to the cinema? Not at all. We can go next week. Good. And the last one. It is obvious, right? Uh, let me see. Will you mind if I? I oh, don't. No, this is not this one, right? You can't. Yeah, this is the one, right? Hey, will you mind if I took the day off tomorrow? You can't. We are too busy at the moment. <laughs> so be careful on what you asked to your boss. Next one. Okay, very quickly, people. We're almost done with it. Would you mind if I took that seat? Would you mind if I borrow a cup of sugar? Would you mind if I kept your book one more week? Would you mind if I didn't come to the party? Okay, Daniel. Of course you can, Betty. Are you making cakes again? <laughs> All right. What about the rest? Hello, hello. Hello, people. What happened with this exercise? Yeah. Will you mind if I took that seat? Uh, maybe there are some words that you don't. Oops. Yeah. Okay. No, 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 wait a minute, okay? Uh, okay, now yes. No, go ahead, it's, it's empty, good. Would you like, would you mind if I uh, borrowed a cup of sugar? Of course you can, Betty. Are you making some cakes, good. Would you mind if I didn't come to, to the party? What? No, it would be fun. And the last one, would you mind if I kept to book one more week? Of course not. Do you like it? Excellent. I, I think we are done with it, right? We are almost done with, with these people. Okay. Now, what is Peter asking? Would you mind carrying my bags? 
Would you mind helping me cross the street? Would you mind coming into the office? Would you mind helping me across the street? Excellent. The street? Yeah, that's right. Would you mind helping me ac uh, across the street? Uh, as you can see over here, we have ING, right? We have ING. So we are going to see something on here. Would you mind helping me coming into cleaning up your fi finishing, etc.? right? Now, in this case, you ask somebody to do something, right? You ask somebody to do something. So that is the difference, right? So we, we, we saw it at the beginning, right? As you remember, oh, here, when you use the past is because you are asking for permission, but when you use ing form, it's because you are asking somebody to do something for you. So you need to be clear with it, right? So that's what what that's why Peter is asking somebody to do something. He's requesting, right? So would you mind helping? Okay. Uh, would you mind coming? Would you mind cleaning up? Would you mind fishing? Finishing? Sorry. And remember that when you want to ask for permission, you, you use the simple pass form. Would you mind if I use your bicycle? And that is the difference. Okay, we're gonna try to finish with this. Okay, let us finish with this. And then we're gonna move to something else, okay? Vamos a terminar con este ejercicio. Y de ahí nos vamos a mover a algo más, okay? Can you help me with this exercise? Hey, will you mind opening the window? Will you mind doing the dishes? Again, I washed the dishes last night. Would you mind opening the window? Of course not. It's hot in here. Good. What else? Would you mind turning? Turning, you might turn the music down. Oh, sorry, if it was too loud. Would you mind repeating that? I said, please do the homework tonight. Good. So, any question? No questions? No, no question. Okay. So, we're going to stop over here. I think there are some others there, but. I got my purpose. Ya logré mi propósito, okay? So we're gonna stop on here. Okay, well. Give me a second. I need to get the, the, the other material. Ah, yeah. This is the one I got. Okay. Well, over here we're gonna we're gonna do a similar activity to the one we did yesterday, okay. But in this case, I will make I will mention some of you. I mean, so that you can help me to type the sentence. You you are gonna you're gonna type it in a chat, okay. So here we go. Well, since we are talking about. Telephone conversations, I got another telephone conversation here. Okay, we only have 10 sentences. 
10 sentences, but I need those 10 sentences first in the chat. Ahora le vamos a variar al ejercicio un poco. Primero lo quiero ver la oración en el chat y de ahí la vamos a, la vamos a chequear, ¿ok? Let's listen, ¿ok? Conver it, it's a conversation, ¿ok? A, a, a telephone conversation, conversation on the phone. Listen. Hey, hey. Uh, what do you listen to? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So if you're not able, ah, I wish I will share the link then. So that, the, but the problem is that, well, anyways, I will share it. Don't worry. Está bien. Well, I will share it in the chat. Okay, you can listen to it there then. Uh, you have the link in the WhatsApp group also, just in case, right? Okay, now, but listen, it's very, if, if it's very few, if you do not see the sentence, right? So if we, if we try to get the sentence without uh, seeing the answer. Okay, la intención del ejercicio es que escribamos la oración primero y después lo vayamos chequeando, okay? Así que, pues, alguien que vaya digitando en el chat sería perfecto para yo irme moviendo. Solo son 10 oraciones. Busqué uno cortito por cuestión tiempo. Ok, let us try. Only 10 sentences. La meta, obtener 10 de 10. Ok, 10 de 10. Esa es la meta. Si no lo logramos, pues, ni modo. No pasa nada. Okay, number one. Hey, hey. Uh, what, what did you listen to? Type it in the chat, please. Type it in the chat. Type it in the chat. Hey. Only hey, Michael, or two times? Hey, hey. Like twice, right? Hey, hey. Okay, now let's see. Now you see. <laughs> Take a look at the exclamation mark, right? So that's, that's important. We're communicating, right? So did, you listen, did you listen to the person like, hey, hey? ¿Escucharon qué dijo la persona? Hey, hey. No, ¿verdad? Hay, hay emoción ahí. ¿Ok? Number two. What's wrong? Ajá. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Uh, Daniel, almost Daniel. Let us check it, Daniel. And, and let's see. What's wrong? Okay, what's wrong? What's wrong? Yeah, number three. There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. Uh huh. There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. Okay. There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. There is something, Michael, or there is something? Listen to it. There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. They, Michael?
Okay, anybody else, please, in the chat? Because I'm checking the chat. Michael, if you want to correct it, you can correct it now. Okay, Daniel. There is something, listen. There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. Okay, okay, Berenice. Now, you are very close to the, to the correct uh, one. The problem is spelling, okay? But take a look. There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange, well, a, a, a strange noise. Yeah, a strange noise. There's something wrong with the phone. I'm getting a strange noise. Okay, number four. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Uh-huh. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Okay. Somebody in the chat? Uh, okay, Michael, you almost, you almost got it, but listen, listen once again, Michael. Are you? I can hear you clearly. I can. Será el verbo help? El que se oye ahí? Are you? I can hear you clearly. Berenice says, right you, I can hear clearly. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Almost, almost, almost. Ambos están muy cerca, pero... En el caso de Michael, el verbo está fallando. En el caso de, de, de Berenice, al inicio, y le falta un subject ahí. Oigan otra vez. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Ah, ok, Michael. Very good. So, dice, are you? I can hear you clearly. Let's see. Are you? I can hear you clearly. Pretty good. We're almost done. Number five. Hello. Hello. Uh -huh, that was very easy, right? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh -huh, now, yes, very, very, very easy, right? <laughs> okay. Hello. Hello. Okay. Number six. This payphone might be out of order. Listen. This payphone might be out of order. Listen once again. This payphone might be out of order. Okay. Now, yes, we are going to see some expression we have been studying tonight. Want to listen to it once again? Listen. This payphone might be out of order. This payphone might be out of order. Hey, it has one of the expressions we studied tonight. This payphone might be out of order. Okay. Anybody in the chat, please? This payphone might be out of order. Let me see if I can get it slowly. This is not about this. I think this is lower, right? Oops. Let's see if it is faster. This payphone might be out of order. <laughs> <laughs> it is the opposite, right? Hey, let's see. I think, yeah, what's my mistake? This one. Okay, let's see. This payphone might be out of order. My goodness. This one is the one. Okay. This payphone might be out of order. Okay, now yes, right. This, okay, Berenice, a peer phone, Michael. Listen once again. This payphone might be out of order. This payphone might be out of order.
Last this time. payphone might be out of order. Oh, no, yes, very nice. You're just getting it. This payphone might be out of order. Okay. This payphone might be out of order. Ah, oh, no, yes. Now let's see. This payphone might be out of order, right? Might, might be out of order. Okay, Michael, now, now we got it there, right? Okay, so let's go over next. I'll call you again with another phone. I'll call you again with another phone. I'll call you again with another phone. Okay, it's a little fast. It's painful. No, <laughs> is it painful? I'll call you again with another phone. I'll call you again with another phone. It's a little bit fast, right? So let's see if we get a little slower. I'll call you again with another phone. Listen once again. I'll call you again with another phone. I'll call you again with another phone. What do you listen to? Again with the other phone. Now listen, listen and see. I'll call you again with another phone. 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 Okay, next one. We're almost done. Number Hello, eight. how about now? Is there still a strange noise? Listen again. Hello, how about now? Is there still a strange noise? All right, Berenice, that was the one. Now, number eight. Hello, how about now? Is there still a strange noise? Hello, how about now? Is there still a strange noise? Hello? Uh, you got strange noise, right? But what's, what's I just... Hello, how about now? Is there still a strange noise? Hello? Hello what? Hello, how about now? Is there still a strange noise? How about now? Okay, Veronese. Hello, how about now? Is there still a strange noise? Hey, hey, Michael got only strange noise. Now let's let's go over it, okay? Hello, how about now? Is there is there still a strange noise? Hello, how about now? Is there still a strange noise? Okay, number nine. Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. Okay, you need to see what you what what you get in the chat. Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. Yes. Ah, uh, maybe you don't know that word. Perhaps. Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. Maybe you don't know that word. Perhaps. Uh, li listen to yes, it. Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. Okay, very nice. So I know that the problem is with the word perhaps. Okay, this, this was a problem, right? <laughs> So you get it, get it, and you know, right? Keep it in your mind. Me encantan estos ejercicios porque siempre aprendemos algo nuevo. Yes, perhaps my phone is out of order. Okay, perhaps. And the last one. You should get in touch with the phone company. <laughs> you should get in touch with the phone company. Okay, so there's another new expression, another new expression there. You should get in touch with the phone company. Okay, but I want I want to see what you listen to. You should get in touch with the phone company. Uh, um, 
Just get the phone company, Michael. You should get in touch with the phone company. Baby, you don't know the expression should. Have you ever seen this word should? You should get in touch with the phone company. You should get in touch with the phone company. No, that's a new one, right? So we're going to see it. Hey, you should get in touch with the phone company. You know, get in touch. Who can tell me the meaning of this? Get in touch. Get in touch. Get in touch. Yeah, no, but the expression, Michael, is get in touch. You should get in touch with the phone company. Not exactly. No, Michael, it's not that one. Get in touch. Why don't you look for the meaning in the in the internet? No, you should get in touch. No, Michael, it's not that one. Ah, now yes, Aidan. Aidan got it, right? Hey, you should get in touch with the company, with the phone company. Hey, you should get in touch with the with the phone company. All right, Aidan, that is the one. Okay, so we got a couple of expressions. I think we didn't study yes, about perhaps it. my phone is out of order. About this expression, right? So what's the meaning of perhaps? Perhaps. Okay, Daniel got it. Very good, Jonathan. You got it also. All right. So I will stop sharing this because, well, let me see. Well, we're going to stop over here. We're going to just have some review about what we started tonight. And then I will let you know what to do because. Well, you need to prepare something for Monday, you know, right? Solo vamos a tratar de remachar lo que hemos estado estudiando, especialmente lo que nos pide el libera, lo que nos concentramos siempre, ¿verdad? Okay, so last time we were talking about could, would, okay? So this information could, would, but today we started about can. And it, and, and, the PDF says that can is used to ask for informal request. So what is the difference between will, will you, could you, and can you? Well, that the first two are for formal request, but can is for informal. That's it, okay? So that's what you need to do. Okay, well, you can finish with this. As you can see, we perfectly finished with everything in the PDF, okay? Todo en, encaja súper bien con, ha encajado súper bien con el grupo. Hemos terminado prácticamente con el PDF. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Esto, esto, por supuesto, queda de tarea. Ok, esto sí, queda de tarea. ¿Por qué de tarea? Bueno, porque en este momento necesito que todos trabajen en el final test. Si usted ya terminó con su final test, con su examen final, entonces dedíquese a trabajar en su presentación para el día lunes. ¿Ok? Yo okay. aquí voy a estar, ok, ustedes saben que yo no me muevo de aquí, estoy pendiente de su trabajo. De hecho, cuando ustedes trabajan en plataforma, yo estoy observando avances ahí. Y, pues, este... Bueno, vamos a dejar que pasen que unos 20 minutos para dar algunas reacciones al respecto. Trabajemos 20 minutos, plataforma, 20 minutos, presentación para el día lunes. La presentación del día lunes, ustedes ya saben que es una presentación en donde ustedes van a dar eh, una manera o al, van a buscar un ejercicio, una actividad en donde nos demuestren pues, de manera un poco generalizada lo que han estado aprendiendo en el curso. ¿verdad? Esa es una. Y lo otro, pues que den alguna este, opinión, sugerencia uh, para el teacher, para el grupo, para los participantes, pero por supuesto todo en inglés. ¿verdad? Todo en inglés. O sea, hay trabajo por hacer. 
Hey, hicieron muy bien su trabajo en el, en el último dictado. Ok, estuvo súper. Ahí los veo conectados trabajando también en la, en la PowerPoint. Ok. Cierro micrófono. Me voy para la, la plataforma. A ver cómo estamos ahí, ok. Hey, antes de que continúen, quiero decirles que casi todos tienen el 100%. Ok, solo los que faltan del final no tienen el 100% pues por, justamente por eso, porque le falta esa actividad. Creo que este va a ser el primer grupo, si lo logramos, que todos obtengan el 100%, pues va a ser más que genial. ¿En qué se está trabajando, profe? Sorry, Michael. ¿En qué se está trabajando? En, en la plataforma, Miguel. Si en, en el examen final, si no lo ha completado, debe completarlo. Si ya lo completó, trabaja en la presentación para el día lunes. El final es el, el, el 20. Let me see. I will check it now. Vamos a revisarlo, ¿ok? No, 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 En español, chivo. Actónico. 
Okay, Michael, Michael. Okay. Here, you, here you are, the part that says final exam. Okay. Uh, the final exam, in the final exam, okay. section number four, you're going to encounter these this exercises, right? Part one, okay. Part mm -hmm. two, part three, part four, and I don't know if we have part five. No, it's only four parts, people. One, two, three, four parts. Michael. Okay. Okay, do it now, please. Okay. Son de
I can see you are almost done. I can see we're almost done. Okay. So let, let us let us see. Okay, let's see what's coming. Okay, for Monday. Let's have some some review. I can see that the majority of you already finished. Okay. Uh well, first off, uh let me tell you that I'm really proud of your performance in this course. Okay. Um, well, you are you have been dealing with a lot of problems, I mean with a lot of difficulties. And 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 well, to to being studying English deeply this in this course, so uh, I'm really proud of you. Pues, déjenme decirles que me siento muy 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 orgulloso de su trabajo. Okay, solo pues tengo el 99% en en la plataforma visualizo el 99%. De, de participantes que han completado pues prácticamente todo verdad entonces es algo que no no todas las veces se logra y pero en esta ocasión lo hemos logrado felicitarlos por eso felicitarlos por por el esfuerzo que hacen ok sé que muchos pues han estado aprovechando muy bien estos 20 minutitos porque saben que el día de mañana esos 20 minutitos que a lo mejor no ah no los que trabajan mañana ¿verdad? a lo mejor este, no van a tener esos 20 minutitos entonces pues yo estoy pensando un poco en todo verdad de que sé que en el día casi no tienen mucho tiempo por eso este al final decidí de asignarles un poquito de tiempo en eh, en ciertas actividades como en la que se está preparando para el día lunes este pues prácticamente el lunes vamos a tener un repaso. ¿verdad? El repaso lo vamos a hacer como equipo. Cada quien prepara su presentación y nos muestra eh, qué es lo que aprendió en el nivel. Vamos a tratar de aprovechar eh, bastante el tiempo porque ese día, recuérdense que eh, bueno, hoy no, no, no pudimos hacer este, la encuesta. Eso quiere decir que el día lunes es seguro que si nos van a dar esa indicación, justamente el último día. ¿verdad? Este, vamos a tener alrededor de que 20, 25 minutos para completarla y eso nos, nos va a reducir nuestra, nuestro tiempo para a, hacer las presentaciones. Entonces, ese día sí me gustaría que todos estuvieran listos y que pues al momento de escuchar su nombre, pues nada, nos, nos presenten lo que han preparado. ¿verdad? Y así pues nos despedimos del nivel básico 2, pues con... ¿Saben qué significa flying colors? With flying colors. Es una expresión... No, no, sí, sí. Eso es terminar este, con las notas más altas, ok. Flying colors. Flying colors. Volar flying colores. colores. <ríe> no, no así tan literal, sino que... Son frases, pero... Son, son, son frases que, 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 uh -huh. que hay que aprendernos las poco a poco. ¿Saben qué es el phrasal verse? Es bueno que, que, aunque sea una por una, que se las que la fuéramos estudiando fuera perfecto, porque eso ya pertenece a avanzado. Imaginen phrasal verbs. Eso ya es Ajá. para avanzado, ¿verdad? Entonces, y son muchos phrasal verbs. Este, entonces, es bueno que le vayamos este, incluyendo un poco de todo a nuestro aprendizaje. Ok. Uh, pero regresando al tema, el día lunes sí me gustaría que este, todos estén preparados, ok, y, y, que, y que se demuestren primero a ustedes mismos de qué uh, son capaces y pues que luego pues que nos permitan a nosotros saber del nivel de inglés que han alcanzado en este básico 2. O sea, es, va a ser un, un momento de demostración. Primero, demostrarse a ustedes mismos. Segundo, demostrarles a todos lo que hemos alcanzado en el básico 2. Imagínense cuántos niveles faltan y este y el y el avance que están teniendo, pues ustedes mismos lo van ustedes mismos se lo van a evaluar el día lunes. Okay. O sea, yo, 
yo pues ya di mi, mi opinión respecto al, al, al esfuerzo que ustedes hacen, pero creo que es aún más importante que ustedes valoren su propio esfuerzo y su propio avance, ¿ok? Pero yo le puedo decir, para mí usted tiene 10, ¿ok? Está, vamos bien, vamos súper vamos bien, pero, pero ¿quién lo conoce más eh, que nadie? sino usted mismo, ¿verdad? Usted mismo sabe en qué aspecto vamos flaqueando y en qué aspecto no, nos estamos fortaleciendo, ¿ok? Así que yo esperaría el día lunes una, una presentación eh, pues ya previamente elaborada y muy con mucha práctica, ¿ok? Recuérdense que las pueden este, elegir entre listening, speaking, reading and writing. ¿okay? Cualquier actividad, usen su creatividad. Y nada, pues nos vemos el día lunes. No sé si hay este, preguntas. Sí, profe. Sí, Michael. Este, sí, en la opción cuatro, en la última pregunta, dice este, que como es este, informal. Permítame, Ma Michael, ahorita quiero... Ups, me salí del, del examen, permítame. Opción 4. O parte 4 del examen, dice. Sí. Veámoslo, Michael, lo voy a compartir. Part one, part two, part this part, right? Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, uh, the last. The last one. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, actually, it's a, yeah, es que, es que es un, es un ejercicio truqueado. Yo le digo estos ejercicios son, son con truco. ¿Por qué sí, con porque, truco? Uh, porque una letra le cambian y... Ajá, yo les enseñé, fíjense bien, yo les enseñé que qué es, es por informal, ¿verdad? Pero aquí la indicación nos dice informal, entonces, ah, qué chivo, eso lo, lo, voy a, lo, voy a, lo voy a identificar y ya sé que quién es informal, quién es informal, pero viene la pregunta truqueada como para hacernos pensar de qué es la mejor opción. Si nos ponen entre paréntesis, eh, Michael, que están en una reunión, quiere decir que es un ambiente formal. Ajá. Entonces, obviamente no vamos a poner quién, sino que could. Ah, okay. Es una opción que, que, que eh, o sea, el ejercicio ya, ya trae ese propósito, Michael. Ya trae el propósito de hacernos, bueno, y este, este ejercicio, ¿qué, qué, qué pretende? Pero si yo le doy uh -huh. aquí, Michael, y de ahí no, le doy no, a enviar, no, me va a parecer que está malo. Ahora, uh -huh. para que me aparezca al 100%, yo ya descubrí que no puede ser Ken. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que hago yo? Lo corrijo y lo vuelvo a enviar. ¿Para qué? Para que en mi, en mi plataforma ya me aparezca el 100%. Ok. Ok, eso lo, es bueno que lo tomen en cuenta para, para ejercicios futuros, cursos futuros, ¿ok? Ok, Ok, ¿no más preguntas? Aníbal. El, con respecto a los temas, el tema que uno quiera o... o, o sí, o Sería bueno, pues, que de, de alguna manera generalizarlo como algunos temas que, que usted siente que le han costado un poquito más. Yo ah, creería okay. que por ahí nos pudiéramos ir, ¿verdad? Okay. Como a modo de challenge. Esto me costó oh. y esto es lo que yo tengo que reafirmar el día lunes. Lo tengo que Correcto. vencer para el día lunes. Ya no hay más tiempo, porque el lunes <risa> es, es, es la, el último, la última lección del básico 2. O sea, ah, okay. lo que más me costó del curso del básico 2, esto es como sugerencia, ¿verdad? Yo, okay. si el, mi teacher me hubiese dicho, pues yo, lo hubiera, yo me hubiera ido por, más por ese lado. Ok, thank you. Ok, ok. ¿No más preguntas? No. So we're going to stop going no. here and have a really nice weekend and I hope to see you on Monday. Ok. See thank you, you soon. Good night, teacher. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Good night.
God bless you. God bless you, Michael.